plot back up with the tarp. All these beds are now fully prepped. They've got everything, compost we put in our, our uh, microgreen soil and uh, we fertilized them, tilled them, ran the tilter at the end. Actually we did that when we put the compost in. So now these beds are fully prepped. We've had about 36 hours of solid rain. So the beds are nice and wet. And so by covering them up now, I will be encouraging weed germination or anything that's left in there. And then that will help us do our stale seed bedding. So if we get a couple weeks of warm weather, um, we can expect a lot of things to germinate here. And then by that point, we could either leave the tarp on or we could flame weed it, thereby burning all the little germinating weeds. And, uh, but before we do that, we'll actually probably put lettuce in here on a few beds, on four beds at least. And uh, those, will be used, those will be done with landscape fabric, which will smother out any weed pressure anyways. So that's one crop we can put in here right away that we're not too worried about weeds coming up in. But when I finish this one, I'm gonna head to another plot and tarp it as well. A stale seed bed is when we fully prepare a bed as in it has been whether it's been rototilled or broad forked or prepared in some non-disturbing way that it's prepared so that it can be planted but a stale seed bed is when we either cover it up or encourage the growth of weeds within the next two three perhaps four weeks sometimes even more so that we can get rid of those weeds by either smothering them out with a tarp or flame weeding them there where we burn the weeds and then we have a surface of soil that doesn't have weeds in it and so from there we would plant right into the soil and then we'd have our crop come up with very little weed pressure or perhaps less weed pressure but the basic idea is that um, the bed is prepared and when we plant it, it doesn't get weeds. So why it's called the stale seed bed exactly, I'm not totally sure, but that's exactly what I've done here. I've done all the prep for these beds. We had fall rye in them in the fall and um, I ran over it with a flail mower, grinding it up, and then I rototilled it into the soil. Then we added a bunch of amendments, compost and some fertilizer to it and you know, leveled the beds out so they're ready to plant. And then we had 36 hours of rain, so it soaked the soil really good. Now we've covered it up, and we're, I'm hoping that in the next couple weeks, if we get some warm weather, this will encourage the germination of weeds because it'll keep that soil moist and bring more heat onto it with the blackness of the tarp, thereby expediting the germination of those weeds so that if I wanted to leave the tarp on for a longer period of time, I could smother the weeds out or if I just wanted to uncover it and flame weed it, then I could do that. So now we've got two full plots prepped and tarped. So uh, so sort of imagine those like a, a loaded rifle. It's like you've got these beds that are ready to go, but um, by tarping them, we're just gonna kind of keep them in stasis. You know, we're going to be uh, expediting a stale seed bedding process as well but we'll keep them in stasis and this way weed pressure can't blow in cats or animals can't come and dig them around birds can't come and poke out the worms they're just gonna sit there ready to go for when we want to plant them 